Good morning, children. This podcast replaces the traditional face-to-face -face assemblies, which have now been discontinued due to cuts. It's Mr. Tom Blackwhistle here, your friendly headmaster from St. Michael's and St. Bernard's Primary School. You may have noticed yesterday that Mrs. Costello was away. She's had to go away for three weeks to have some, what she has termed, and I'm sure she's told you, surgical enhancements. Now, when she comes back, you may notice a couple of differences about Mrs. Costello, <laughs> but I assure you, she'll be the same Mrs. Costello inside, though I think she's going to look a little younger and a bit easier on the eye, so there's no harm in that. Now, last week, I had an email. Nothing unusual about that, you might say. But it was from the chairman of the school governors. Yeah. And last year, late last year, he came to one of my assemblies incognito. No, that's not a boy band. It means in disguise. And he emailed me and he said to me that my assemblies, and I'll read it, I'll read it for you, I've got it here. He said, your assemblies are bad humoured, not child friendly, do not cover enough religious or biblical themes and are confrontational. Well, not one to ignore the advice of people who think they know better. I thought I would try and tick a few boxes today. So, in order to make myself and my assemblies, or podcasts as they now are, more endearing, I thought about using a fluffy bunny. But I thought that was ridiculous. So instead, I'm using a fluffy dog. And here he is. Isn't he lovely? Yeah, lovely little fella. Now, for various reasons, children, he cannot speak. But he can whisper to me, and I can relay to you what he says to me. Alright? So let's start by asking him his name. What's your name? Matthew. Well, that's a very good biblical name, that Matthew. Yes, yes it is. Alright, Matthew, can you tell me, um, what is it you do? Yeah, well, tell me then. He's a writer, I see. And what is it you've written? Have you ever written anything of note, Matthew? Okay, what? The truth, oh, I see. Well, tell me this, Matthew. Is there another name for the truth? Yeah, and what's that? Gospel, oh, hang on a minute. You're not the Matthew from the Bible, are you, that wrote the gospel? He is! Wow, well it's lovely to meet you. Good biblical theme, Matt. Tell me, Matthew, do you have any friends? You do, and what are their names? Mark, Luke and John. Uh, did they write about Gospels too? Yeah, of course they did. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Yeah, lovely. I think that's, I think that's all from you, isn't it, Matthew? No? Oh. oh, he wants to tell a joke, children. All right, he wants to tell a joke. Tell us a joke, then. Okay, what did the little dog say to the big spotted dog after he'd bitten him? I don't know, Matthew. What did the little dog say to the big spotted dog after he'd bitten him? <laughs> I sentence you to eternal dalmatian. <laughs> very funny, very funny. Thank you very much. Say goodbye to them. Lovely. Okay, good. That's that bit done. Humour. Oh. Before I go, there's, a, there's an email here from Zarumo Chizimu. Now he's the village chief of that, of that village in Africa where we sent the old school laptops to before Christmas. Do you remember? He's, he's, he's written to us to thank us very much. Let's have a look, see what it says. Dear Mr. Blackwhistle and all the children at St. Michael's Primary School, we have a saying in our village. Give a man a 10-year-old laptop with limited battery power and a cluttered hard drive and he will surf the internet for a day. Give him an iPad 4 with a range of the latest apps and antivirus software and he will surf the net for life. Unfortunately, you sent us 20 computers fitting the former, not the latter description. And as such, they are now being used as miniature fencing panels for my daughter's rabbit enclosure. Best wishes, Zerumu Chizimu. Right, well, isn't that nice? Okay, children, that's the end of this podcast assembly. I will see you 
later. Goodbye.